So a couple things I'd like to talk about before we get off to bring the Boa to Ed up north. First one is the possible disappearance of Music Monday. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. Stop of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderfully beautiful people doing today? Welcome to Friday. We got a few things going on today. Obviously, I got to get this room cleaned up. We're going up north. Uh, we found a home for that lovely Boa Monty here. Uh, this girl right here. And I'm really happy with the home she went to. If you follow us on Instagram, then you're well aware of where she's going. My buddy Ed is taking her, which is great because he's a good friend, so I'll get to see her. And also, he lives here in California, so we don't have to ship her. It's kind of a win-win there, for sure. Don't touch that fan, Snake. We also did hit 10,000 subscribers, which is awesome. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit and uh, what that means going forward. And uh, yeah, she's a strong snake. <sighs> uh, <laughs> uh, of course, she's getting me. She's getting me good. I shouldn't have let this happen. <sighs> oh man. Boas are strong. Boas have some, some of the strongest muscle pound for pound in the snake world, in my opinion. Oh, oh my gosh. It's getting serious. Hold on a second. <sighs> oh, there we go. So it's a good idea to not let that happen. Even with a snake this small, that, that was uh, that was fun. Yeah, so again, we're gonna be going north and I've got lots of snake work to do before we do that. Lots of editing to do for Triple B TV, etc. Wrap around my hand, make it feel better. So a couple things I'd like to talk about before we get off to bring the Boa to Ed up north. First one is the possible disappearance of Music Monday. Now, I'm never gonna stop doing Music Monday. Many people ask me how do I do Music Monday because I'm using copyrighted music. I just don't monetize any of those videos. So I don't care if they're not monetized. I care more about sharing cool music and making good videos with them. Let me skip back. I watch a channel from time to time called PewDiePie. If you guys have ever heard of it, he's the biggest YouTuber on the platform. I think 70 million subscribers, something like that. It's hilarious, first of all. And also, um, he just he's himself. I find it refreshing and funny and informative at times. And this is where I learned about this thing that's happening with the European Union, this thing, this directive they're trying to pass of Articles 11 and Articles 13 that involve copyrighted content being shared on different social media platforms, i.e. YouTube, making those platforms responsible for not getting um, copyrighted content uploaded in places like the European Union, in the European Union is where this is happening. YouTube is basically saying if this passes, they don't have any way to like really successfully control all the different copyrighted content that gets uploaded. Currently what happens if I upload music with copyright, then the person that owns the copyright or the company that owns the copyright to that music gets notified about statistics with the video and I think even receives payment. If the article passes, then they're just not gonna, they'll just block that content in the EU and nobody will get to see it at all over there. And I know we've got people that watch over there in Europe, so I just wanted to let you guys know that's a possibility. It might be something you want to look into. It hasn't passed yet, so maybe you want to, I don't know, write your parliament members or something of that nature. Just something that came to my attention that I thought I should bring to your guys' attention. If you're here in the States, freedom! <laughs> just saying. But yeah, Music Monday will continue, at least from my end until the end of my video making career, which 
I see no end in sight. The other thing I want to talk about is we did hit 10,000 subscribers and I wasn't even going to call attention to it, but lots of people were calling attention to it already. The number of subscribers on this channel isn't really that important to me, which is why I wasn't even going to say anything about it at all until everybody else did. And I wasn't going to do any kind of special 10,000 subscriber special or anything like that because it's become less important to me how many subscribers there are. It's, it's the number of people subscribed to the channel is not nearly important to me as the people who are subscribed to the channel and the types of people subscribed, not the number. And I'm very happy with the subscribers we have. It's, fe it's feeling like a very nice community we've got going here. And also the number of subscribers I don't think matters all that much. It's more about how many views you get, really. And I'm doing pretty good, I think. I, I, I really wanted to get the channel to a point where we were getting, you know, an average of a thousand views on a video when it first gets uploaded. And we're getting about that. Because you, know, you, can, you can have hundreds and thousands of subscribers and only get a couple thousand views on your video so it doesn't really matter I don't think how many subscribers you have. It really really doesn't. What matters is that I'm having fun and I sure as hell am having fun and that's a win. If you guys want to see something special for that number being hit on the subscriber count I will do something. Leave a comment down below if you want me to do something specifically for the fact that we hit 10,000 subscribers and if you want it I'll do it. Otherwise doesn't matter all that much to me. Did I beat that horse hard enough? Let's go north. Dude, how did you do that? It's a it's a time travel time teleportation time travel lens. You see how big it look at how thick that thing is. It's like it's made for I was actually trying to go to my parents' house. <laughs> it's I gotta get this thing calibrated. But uh I figure we're here, I might as well check out a snake. Check this out guys. <laughs> Bongo Phantom. Phantom. Possible yellow belly. Possible yellow belly. Thank you, Jimmy. Check out the striping on that bad boy, man. Is that freaking sweet or what? Coolest snake in the room right now, according to Jimmy. One of them, yeah. One of them. One of the coolest snakes in the room, according to this guy right here. And he usually knows what he's talking about, but. We gotta get to my parents. Alright, bro, I'll see you later. There we go. I'm gonna have to get this thing looked at, man, because it usually doesn't send me to the wrong places and times like that, but... Yeah, I don't know, this thing's dangerous if you don't use it correctly, but... Hi, Moon! Hi! <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hey! Hey, screaming! <laughs> what do you know? Uh, okay. Hey, Noah. What do you know? I know. Clocks. What about clocks? That they tell you what time it is, and that's all I know. Huh. Oh, wait. And they're circles, and that's all I and know. A, and a what? They're circles. They're and circles? that's all I know. They're circles. They are circles. <laughs> You got no wisdom for us today, Eli? No wisdom for us on this fine day? Nothing? Yes, no? That's fine. That's fine. Eli has nothing for us. But, hey dad. What do you know? Hey. Well, I know that there's a camera around here somewhere. And that I know. And that's enough. That's enough to know. Ah! <laughs> oh, I see. Running away, eh? You yellow bastards! Come back here and take what's coming to you! <laughs> what happened? My dad doesn't like to be on camera, that's why I have to sneak film him. Let's try to get Eli one more time. Let's try. Hey, Eli, what, what do you know? I know. What about dragons? That the blue and that right now. Really? Mm -hmm. We're one for three on people telling us what they really know. Um, oh, let sleeping dogs lie. Ed should be here any minute, and we'll just wait for him here.
if you guys can hear that, but it's finally raining here in California, so hopefully you got some weather. Ed is here. Vanessa flake on us. Sorry, but Again. Vanessa, you watching this? You flake on us one more time. On one more time, you flake on us, Ness. <laughs> I don't want to say what's going to happen. I'll let your dad figure it out. Here's the little travel case for Monty. Ed's going to take him out, and we're going to film you the most epic unboxing video you've ever seen in your life. Look at the great light we got in this room. Pretty grateful and fortunate that Ed made it real easy for us to find a good home for this snake. And I didn't, you know, I didn't really mention in the video how awesome she is. She's a great, great tempered snake, aren't you, Missy? Aren't you? You little one of those? Yeah. She's a good. She's a good girl. For sure. For sure. Thanks, Ed, for making. Hey, thank you. Life easy for all thank of us. Thank you. My pleasure. I've been wanting a female, so. I'm glad I got her. All right, y'all. Signing off. Have a good one.